Do you think, like, maybe in some fucked up way that could be true? That's not my question to answer. What happened? I'm not sure. You did that to yourself. Why? I don't know. It's like... It was crazy. I was washing dishes trying to get my mind off of all this and then I reached into this sink and I jabbed myself with a fork. It hurt really badly. But for a second all the stuff in my head just stopped. All I could think about was the pain. Everything else was just... And I stared at the cuts for a minute as I started to turn red. And then the pain started to ease and my mind started racing again. And before I knew it, I had already taken the fork and raked it across my arm. Did you feel relief? For the first time in weeks. Do you think that this may stem from something deeper than the breakup? I don't know. He told me to stay away from him, which has been really hard on me. No, I made things worse for him. He quit his job. He won't leave his house. He told me he didn't want to be here anymore. So some nights, I sleep outside of his apartment just so I can see the lights go on and off to make sure that he's moving around in there. Do you feel personally responsible for Darnell's downward spiral? Yeah. And my mind keeps fucking with me. I'm not suicidal or anything, but I do feel like I'm losing my grip. You know, my whole life, I tried to... I just need to keep my mouth shut. Who was your first love? Or what was that like? I don't know if it was love, but he was my neighbor. You know, like my first crush. His name was Ellis. I, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. Please don't use that. I won't. Okay, so his dad had died that year. And we spent the whole summer together. And we got really tight. I was helping him out at home, you know, helping out his moms. We all went through it together. And then one night the pressure just got to him. And he lost it. He just couldn't stop crying. So I just held him. And I told him that he was going to get through it and that I wasn't going anywhere. And out of nowhere, he put his lips on mine and we kissed. I didn't know how badly I wanted to kiss him until that moment. And out of nowhere, I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought it'd be cool to... <laughs> I told him I loved him. And what did he say? I'd see him on the street and he'd just walk past without saying a word. And it hurt so much. To the point that I wrote him a letter. I told him everything I felt and that I didn't blame him for it. But to just please talk to me. Did he? He probably would have if things had gone differently. Is that real? Orin, come here. I got this from Ellis' mother. So, who are you, Orin? Who are you? You are my son. And that's all you ever gonna be. Anything else you trying to be, I will destroy. Do you understand? Do you understand? 